friends, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home. Today we're going to be working on my bedroom. We're going to spruce it up a little bit. I have a new comforter and some new shams, and we're going to make it look a little more finished. But first, we're going to run out and get the mail real quick. Okay, we'll just run out and get the mail real quick. Oh, it finally rained today. I'm so excited. It hardly ever rains here where I live. But today was the day. It didn't last very long and it quickly dried up. But that's okay. I enjoyed it while it lasted. My mailbox is across the neighborhood, so it just takes a minute to run over there and get the mail. Oh, it looks like it's snowing in the mountains. Look at that. That's incredible. Well, no mail today. Okay, well now I guess it looks like we can start on the bedroom. Well, this year I'm going to do something a little different. I usually do some a little updating and sprucing things up. I like to freshen things up in January after Christmas and after New Year's. I'll look for something on sale and maybe make a few changes around the house. But this year I just decided to look around and see what I could find. And I found a really nice comforter set at Marshall's and it's by Nicole Miller. And I really like it. It's really neutral and the colors are nice and calming. I love to keep my bedroom very calm and serene. Nothing, nothing extremely colorful or flashy. So let me show you what I found and we'll get started. Okay, so here's what we have to work with. I've already gotten rid of the other sheets. I had some printed sheets that were kind of a salmon color that I just got because they were a really good deal and I had them for a long time. So now I have some crisp, clean, new cotton sheets. And then I had this quilt. It's a nice neutral quilt. It's comfortable and it's in good condition. It's not very old. But I just want to make it look a little bit nicer, softer, more welcoming, a little bit cozier. So let's try the new comforter on and see how it looks. Okay, before I change out the comforter, I'm going to do a little cleaning. I'm going to dust the ceiling fan, the window blinds, dust the furniture, vacuum, and make sure everything's all cleaned up so the room will feel fresh and clean. Okay, everything is clean and dusted. I've vacuumed, I've cleaned the window blinds, dusted the ceiling fan, and everything is done. With the furniture being so dark, I kept everything in here really light and very neutral. That way it's very soothing, calming, and relaxing. Let me show you the choices I made. So here's what the room looks like coming in from the hallway. I needed to put something at the end of the television because we didn't want to come into the room and see the end of the television with the cords behind it. The TV is mounted on the wall, so I found this large base at Hobby Lobby and I was really happy to find it. I love the colors and the design. And then this accent was from Walmart. I actually found this at Walmart and it really works very well to disguise the end of the TV. That way when you walk in the room, you notice the dry grass in the, in the vase instead of the end of the TV. And then I found this little plant here that kind of helps hide that television box that needs to be on the dresser. And a couple other accent pieces. I found this chair at Marshall's and I was very happy to find it because it's such a nice, neutral, com comfortable, plushy chair. And I found this ottoman. This ottoman is from Hobby Lobby and it's actually leather, so I was very happy to find that as well. And then I have curtains that are very neutral and calming and they match the wall color. And these are from Amazon. And then, of course, my Christmas tree done in neutrals. I made these snowflakes in a previous video. I used this soft, cozy throw for the tree skirt. Then for one of the nightstands, I've cleaned and put just a couple accessories there. The sun's pretty bright coming in these windows above the bed. 
But here's how the new bedding set looks. And on this nightstand, just a couple of accessories to match. Just a little bit of greenery on each nightstand. And then I've added a mirror from Ross. And a full length mirror is always nice to have in a bedroom when you're getting ready. Overall, I think the room looks so much better. It doesn't take very much to spruce up a bedroom. Maybe just a comforter set and some new shams, some new sheets, or a couple little accessories or pieces. But mostly just decluttering and putting things away and clearing the space makes it seem calm and serene. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Mm -hmm.